so guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while today we're going to be doing gif animations in figma so basically gif files are video files that um uh, you can use you can put in your figma designs to make it more interactive more smart and more juicy and um let's see what let's see a preview of what it actually looks like so um this is what gif animation can do as you can see something is loading in the background and after some time it goes on the next page and uh, you see success redirecting you to the dashboard so basically this is what we're doing today so without further delays let's dive right in if you're new to my channel ensure you hit the subscribe button and after watching this video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section like the video please thank you so much please just hit the like button it helps my video and helps my channel all right let's proceed to the tutorial hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a while um today i'm going to be teaching you how to use of gif in your figma designs so um gif are uh, a type of file format that our uh, videos are also stored in so uh, basically what we'll be doing is i'll uh, click on this verify otp and then to take us to a page that will be showing a loading animation to show that something is processing and uh, from this page it will come to this page which says verification successful and there will be a check and uh, and so you can see right here redirecting to your dashboard uh, so from this page automatically we will be redirected to our dashboard assuming this is our dashboard <laughs> of course I know what you're thinking this doesn't look like a dashboard but that's not the whole idea the idea is how to create the loading animations so without further delays let's get started um, what we'll need, we'll need GIF files, uh, of course you can get the GIF files anywhere, you can get it anywhere on the internet, just search for GIF animations and you find it. But what we'll be using today are Loti animations, it's one of the best, if not the very best, I use it all the time. And uh, it has a Figma plugin, but we're going to be using the one from the website. So basically all you just have to do, once you open this website, I'll leave a link to this website in the video description. So all you just have to do is click on this search bar and you just search for loading whatever you want to search for you can search clapping you can search transaction successful you can search your um, battery animation you can search your thanksgiving animation whatever you want to search for so but right now we'll be searching for loading animation and um, there are premium animations you can see premium animations and there are also free ones you can sort by price by style by color and by AEP. So um, what we need now is to select a particular animation from these results. There are lots. If you go to the bottom, you see that there are over 50 pages. You see, there are over 50 pages. So you can just keep navigating and navigating. And uh, but uh, we're not going to go through all that. We just pick anyone here. And um, I should probably tell you that I already downloaded the one that I'll be using for this tutorial. So I'm not going to download another one, but all you just have to do basically if you want to download, let's as you want to download this one. I just click on this particular one right here, assuming this is the one that you want to download. So it opens up. This is the one that you want to download, not me. I don't want to download it, but I just want to show you how you go about it. And um, this is the one that supposedly you want to download. Uh, you can configure the animation speed, how fast or how slow it is. You can change the color of the background to match the color of your frame that you are designing on. And uh, you can shift the color palettes. That's these colors right here, this blue, green, cyan, and um, orange, I think. You can change it over here. And uh, you can also use the animations. You can select whatever you want to use. You can click on Figma and to take it directly to Figma. But uh, you can, when you value, when you're done with the customization, you can just click on this download right here, and the file be downloaded to your phone or to your system. But like I told you, we're not going to be doing that because I already downloaded the animation that I need. So let's just go back to Figma right here. And the uh, first thing I'll do is to rename this file to Tutorial. All right, it's a best practice whenever you're working, always rename your files. As you can see, everything is properly named, not uh, frame one, frame two, frame three, or hundred one. No, 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 that's not how you do it. All right, but I'm not here to teach you what the best practices are. I'm here to teach you how to use loading animations. So once you have the files downloaded, uh, all you have to do now is to locate it in your explorer. So I'm going to look for mine. So these are the two files that I've downloaded. So I'll highlight both and um, drag it into my workspace. 
so here they are but as you can see right now they are bigger than my frames so i'll highlight both hit the k key and um i'll um what i'll do is i will resize it make it smaller because i want the two of them to be of the same size so i'll make it smaller and um i'll drag it in here all right so right now we have the loading bar and the success bar this otp validating i want the otp the loading bar to be there and uh, this otp validated i want it to be inside otp validated so i'll click on the success and i'll move it in here all right so i'll use the directional key to move it inside that particular frame and i'll align it to the center and this one as well i'll align it to the center as well all right so we have our files so let's head to prototype and um, as you can see if you click on this button right here i already prototyped it you can see the interaction if i click on it this is the feature of the interaction on click let's click on it right here so when you click on this verify otp it will take you to this page this page right here and um, this one right here is set to automatically go you see it's after delay this one is set to automatically go to the next page which is otp validated after three seconds you can change it to four seconds five seconds but don't make it too long remember one of the laws of ux you don't want to keep the user waiting so if you like you can make these seven days up that's your that's your choice but don't keep the user waiting all right so you can see this one automatically comes to this page after three seconds and this one as well automatically comes to the dashboard after how long let's see um click on this one after delay and after four seconds the otp validated goes to the dashboard but um just to make sure that everything is working perfectly let's um let's preview let's present this design and see what it looks like so um this is our page right here and uh, remember nothing will happen unless we click on this button right here this verify otp because we've already entered the otp now what we have to do next is click on verify otp and it will take us to this place you see it's loading and after three seconds it will take us to this page success validation success when after four seconds it will take us to the dashboard automatically which means the user has entered the correct otp the, the app the app developer has directed the app to go from the validation page to the dashboard now this is best practice because after the validation you don't want to have the user entering his or her login credentials all over again that would just take so much time and some persons they don't have that patience to so you'll be frustrated and next thing you know they uninstall your app so it's best practice that after validation you automatically direct the user to his or her dashboard so that's how you do it basically ensure you hit the subscribe button like it helps my videos and it helps my channel and i know then that yes there are people that are watching these videos and there are people that need it so please hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave your comments the section in the comment section if you have any questions all these helps my videos to go and my channel to go thank you so much for watching